But you've heard, of, uh, maybe you haven't heard of the movement Shout Your Abortion. Yeah, yeah, that one. If you go look that up, it's pretty awful. But uh, another one is look up hashtag not a victim. All one word, not a victim. Go look up that. I just had a question. Sure, yeah. I'm Jewish and I've been Jewish my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, So there's nothing really in like the Bible or the Torah or the Shiva or like what we do about homosexuality. Or in the Bible, I'm not sure if it really specifically says um, anything about it. Like a man lying with a man. Wasn't that mostly for like pedophilia? No, no. uh, If you look up, uh, we were were just talking about this, the book of Romans, first first part of of Romans. We could actually... um, Oh, I, say, I can pull my Bible out and read. It. Yeah, okay. So the Book of Romans talks about not only because sometimes people say, "Oh, it doesn't talk about women and lesbians." Like, hey, it's right there in the Romans one: women lying with women, doing shameful things, men with each other, and and then and then there's a little part in there that's kind of like owie owie. It says, "And and the, and the men received in them their due payment." And so you, you probably know what that means. I'm just not sure that, if. Because Bible, you're not supposed to take it for for word. Sorry, English is not my first language. Oh, but that's okay. Bible is not what you're supposed to be taking word for word. It's interpretation and how you live religion. Yeah, you have to interpret it. Just, you so speak, you're do you speak Hebrew? Yes. How do you say it? Uh, can you say something like, uh, have a good day or something? And that's beautiful. That's Thank beautiful. You. I love it. Yeah. It's and you speak English. Great. I couldn't tell you. You speak another language. I'm working on uh, Spanish. Porque de tal manera modidos Armando. Es usted una buena persona? Oui, je suis une très bonne personne. Qu'est-ce que je veux me dire? Je parle comme en France. Comme en France. Comme en France. Oui, c'est comme en France. Je suis Yeah, Spanish, I think it, uh, the reason I'm learning is for ministry purpose, but it's like the most useful uh, I, thing. Because I, I you look at Latin and South America and Mexico, language. it's huge. That's yeah, great. my mommy's an immigrant. I spoke oh. Spanish as the first language. Oh, great. Yeah. Muy bueno. Maravilloso. <laughs> so I love I love learning, but, it, you know, I'm older, so I'm, I'm just going to try and make it. Uh, el aborto? El aborto. It's uh, uh, assassinato. It's actually not assassination, because that's when they're already alive. Outside of the womb. So, so how does that? How does a baby grow if they're not alive? No, I mean like outside. Dead of things the don't grow. I said that. I said it incorrectly. And then outside of. Oh, you know okay. What a okay. Yeah. What? Well, oh, 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 <laughs> kind of getting off track. Now, yeah. I'm sorry. You had a you had a question okay. about. Oh, but yeah. but yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, Romans one is a good place to start. First Corinthians so six nine. Uh, and I'd re- read all the way through 12 because it talks about, and not just homosexuality, but uh, but other sins like lying, theft, blasphemy, lust, adultery, all that, extortion. It goes into a lot of, has a whole list of sins. Sinners said they will not inherit the kingdom of God. In other words, they will go to hell. But then it says later on uh, in, in verse 12, it says, but such were some of you. So Paul is writing to the church at Corinth. I know, I know about the Bible. Okay, okay, good. But, um, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering why you don't, like in Judaism, we don't try and go out and recruit others and tell people that, that they're sinners or need uh, to be saved. Why do you not keep your religion to yourself and do it for yourself? Well, you, Jesus commanded, you know, that was his last, as they say in the military, those are the last marching orders, you know, so like, you know, yes, sir. He said, go into the world, go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. And I was explaining that earlier. That's why we're here, because, you know, primarily because we love people and God has put it on our hearts. He saved us. It doesn't us. seem like you love people. It seems like you hate people for their lives. Why, why would you say that I, you think I hate people? For, you know, personally, I'm a lesbian. And uh, it seems like you That's pretty okay. hate. Thank you. Appreciate it. But uh, it, it seems that, you know, you don't like certain people. Hmm. Well, or yeah, well, something that are not able to Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense because I took the day off today. I took a vacation day because I work five days a week. To uh, try and convert people and, to and, Christianity? Uh, and, and I wouldn't say it that way. I'd say I came to preach the gospel because God does the converting. He, and as, as a Jewish person, you would probably recognize that God 
did the converting, like you look in the Old Testament. He, he, he converts people. You know? uh, humans. Yeah, like, three, three like Abraham uh, and, uh, and Isaac and no, Jacob, the all those Inquisition people. The Spanish Inquisition did the conversion to Christianity. What's that? Yeah, the Spanish Inquisition did the conversion to Christianity. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking God. about, like, like if you read Hebrews 11, yes. you, yeah, the, they call it the Hall of Faith. Because it talks about the Old Testament and, and the heroes, basically, back in there, that they were saved by faith. Abraham, Sarah, Samson, uh, uh, Jacob, and there's a whole list of people. They were saved by faith. So God does the work of saving people. And, and of course, back then, they looked forward to the Messiah, Jesus, coming. We look back in time as Christians. Jesus has already come. Now, as a, as a Jewish person, I would guess that you would reject Jesus as Messiah, correct? Yeah. And you probably don't believe he was God, right? Okay, yeah. Because the Bible clearly says that. And he says it. He says if, I, you, if, um, if you don't believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Do you, do you know what that means? Sure, you're going to hell. Yeah, yeah. You're very, very good. Yeah, yeah. And so you have... does not believe in hell. But, uh, so I'm safe. But I'm in for it. My lifestyle choices. I don't believe that I should be going out. You know, Judaism as a whole should be going out right. and asking people to do certain things for our religion. Yeah. I, I just I, I find right. it so interesting that yeah. your religion goes out and you want to save people and like you need to save mm -hmm. all these people, but you're not focusing on yourself and you're not focusing on your own community of Christians. Well, and, and actually, uh, to be fair, I I think I am uh, more selfish than I'd like to be. I do more stuff. Uh, for myself than I do like I, I do something like this maybe once a week if I'm really if I feel if I really feel like like uh, I'm outgoing I might do two things a week you know uh, but not not that many things you know so uh, why do you come to a, to a college campus where not a lot of Christians are here exactly yeah yeah it's like it's kind of like fucking dumb um, and so uh, and so speaking of hate you know some people express their hate to us but uh, we love you, man, and I, I, I sincerely believe that. I don't know people, but I, I love them, and I don't want them to go to hell. That's why we're here. Uh, but, yeah, um, you know, taking a day off and coming here, uh, it's, it's kind of like the analogy would be, why would, a, um, why would a fisherman go and fish in his bathtub, even if it's full of water? Go fish, right? Why would a fisherman go and fish in a pond full of dead fish? Why would he do that? He'd go to a fish, a, a pond that has lots of fish that are alive, lots of fish. I mean, what's the, the uh, you probably have to, uh, you probably would know this or one of you maybe, but what's the population campus, like 11,000, something like that? It's a lot. It's, uh, I knew it last year. Yeah. It's way too, way too many. Yeah, it's a lot. And there's probably like, probably upwards of uh, 4,000 people um, at the flock party, right? Uh, and that we went to that was the last thing I went uh, went to uh, let's see here on campus anyway that was last month I think so, you, so you come here because there's a lot of people that you can reach you yeah reach yeah exactly because there's not uh, there's not many Christians here now this I, I, I don't know him uh, very well I just met him at this this man uh, is part of crew which is the campus campus life uh, or campus crusade I think is what it's called so um uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming he's a Christian, but I don't know him, so I'd like to find out. But that's the idea. We no, go, we go fishing. No, no, he just came and wanted to talk, and he's been talking with my friend Andy. Now, Andy and I are, are together. Um, but that's the idea. We go, we go fishing with lots of fish. So like Jesus cast the net. You know, uh, if you remember the story where they've been fishing all night and they're frustrated, and Jesus says, "Cast the net to the right," and he does. And they, they tried to pull it up, and it had so many fish in it, it, it almost broke. Right? They had to haul it to shore and almost sunk the boat. So he, he, he pointed them here. There's where the fish are, and that's why we come because we want. Um, not that we can save anybody, because I think there's that misunderstanding that we have the power to save people. I don't. I wish I did, but I can't. <laughs> instead, of, instead of religion, is there something more like tactical that like, the Christian community can do? Like, you know, there's a lot of homeless in the area. Oh, yeah. And do you, can yeah. you go out and help people in that way? Yeah, I'm in Grant, I live in Grants Pass, so we go out to the parks there and feed the homeless. We have a, an inordinate large uh, population of homeless people there. I'm not sure exactly why. Part of it is I think they're, 
Well, yeah, yeah, and 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 they're very enabling. But there's only about one organization that's not enabling. They, in other words, they have rules. They say, yeah, you, if you, you come here, we'll help you, but you can't use drugs, you can't fight, you can't. Uh, I don't even think you can smoke there, and, and there's a whole, whole bunch of rules and things that, that you can't do. But they just want to. They want to live for themselves and want to have their own rules. They all know it. They don't want to be part of society. But yeah, we go and feed them and minister the gospel to them. So yeah, we do some practical things like that. We help people move. We, you know, we try and help people when we can. But um, but the gospel is the most important because if they don't get the gospel, they they can be all warm and and fed, have clothes and all that stuff in a home, and then they die and end up in hell. What what good did we do, right? You know. So yeah, practical stuff is good, and Jesus commanded us to to, to help the poor. Uh, but this is the main thing. That do you believe he, uh, that not? Sorry. Do you believe that? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be like in the same way as I explained to the crowd earlier. I think maybe you weren't here, but but I uh, uh, they're trying to say, oh, you're just you just hate homosexual, blah blah blah, and they're all going to hell. And I go, well, partly I'm saying they're not going to hell. Ultimately, I don't know that because and I'd say, oh, it would be great if all you got saved today and you're you're headed to heaven. Uh, but I don't know that. Uh, and then the other thing is, is uh, there'll be more homosexual, or excuse me, heterosexual people in hell than there will homosexual, LGBT, trans, whatever, because there's just fewer of them, right? There's just a small percentage of those people. 